In an exclusive interview here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange today, I am standing next to not only the president, but the relatively new CEO of Advaxis, which is a cancer immunotherapy company. Right here to my left, Mr. Daniel O'Connor. Daniel, thank you very much for your time. How are you doing today? I'm sure, good, James. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. So I have to ask you, first of all, um, the, a little bit of the history of your company, Advaxis, as well as a little bit of history of yourself. I was told that you were just made the CEO about four weeks ago. Yeah, sure. So let me, let me talk first about Advaxis. Advaxis is a biotech company developing immunotherapies to treat cancer. Why immunotherapies? Immunotherapies enable your body to re-engage and fight the cancer. So it's not chemotherapy, it's not radiation, it's your own immune system going back after the cancer. That type of therapy has been, uh, it's been in development in cancer research for a while. It's just coming into the fore right now and if Axis is in pole position to take advantage of that why what do we have we have taken a bacteria actually a woman who's a researcher who had a breast cancer survivor and said there's got to be a better way to treat cancer other than you know chemo radiation how can I do that she took a bacteria and she genetically altered the bacteria so that she could genetically alter it so that the body when it received the bacteria or had the bacteria would see it as an overwhelming bacterial infection and then see what she associated with it also by genetic engineering a cancer antigen and you and we can pick any cancer antigen we want to associate with the bacteria right so Jimmy in essence what we do is we give a patient an intravenous um, billions of bacteria okay the bacteria has been uh, has been attenuated which means that it can't cause harm or its ability to cause harm to the patient is greatly diminished but it's still recognized by the immune system as a bacteria okay once it gets inside the body says hey I've got an overwhelming bacterial infection and it starts to fight it but then when it sees the cancer antigen it shifts okay and it shifts and said it looks at the tumor that the patient may have our lead construct advaxis HBV or human papilloma virus is our most advanced drug candidate I'll talk about that in a second but it shifts when it sees HPV the cancer antigen and goes after the tumor as if it were an, a bacterial infection okay so that is the genius of, of what our our scientific founder had come up with okay so have we what have we done with that to date is it just in mouse models is it just in in you know preclinical no, it's been in clinical development. We, three years ago, we gave it to 110 women in India with very advanced cervical cancer. What did we say? Okay, we saw women who had tumors throughout their body, and not only in their cervix, but throughout their body. We saw in some of the women, the tumors were completely eliminated. In other words, 100% eliminated. In some of the women, we saw partial elimination of the tumor, so a significant reduction in the tumor. And in some of the women, we saw disease stabilization. So that's great, because what we also saw in terms of how the woman tolerated the bacteria, they had flu-like symptoms or something called cytokine release syndrome in about one-third of the patients, which is what you would expect when your body perceives an overwhelming bacterial infection. But that was, that was not considered as a serious adverse event or a serious, um, you know, a, a serious um, event, if you will. So when you, and especially when you compare that type of safety with what you see in chemo and radiation, it's a very favorable safety profile. And in fact, about one-third of the patients, those, you know, fever and chill-like symptoms resolved um, within about 72 hours, and the other patients, it was treated with um, anti-inflammatories. So, it was, what did we say when we saw that data? First, it was released out in ASCO in June, okay, and it's created a, um, a lot of interest in what the company is doing. What are we doing with it? First, we're moving the drug forward in clinical development. So we're taking it as HPV and we're moving it forward in cervical cancer development through the process of drug development beyond what we've just done in finishing up with women in um, India with cervical cancer. Second, sorry Jim, do you want to, I, I know I'm rolling here, sorry about that. Um, second, we're applying for orphan drug status. We've already applied for it in cervical cancer. In the United States, cervical cancer um, is responsible for about 4,000 deaths of women every year, okay? That's not a huge number. It's a very unfortunate number. It's way too many, but it's still, you know, potentially, potentially could be considered an orphan. We've applied for orphan drug status in anal cancer, HPV-associated anal cancer, as well as HPV-associated neck cancer, which has been in the news um, recently. We received um, response back from the FDA on, a on HPV associated anal cancer and they granted us orphan drug designation there. We're still awaiting for cervical cancer and head and neck cancer. So as I said, what we're doing is we're taking Advaxis HPV, we're moving it forward in, in our drug development. In parallel, we're looking to you know, continue discussions we've had about licensing outside the United States. Why outside the United States? 
because HPV associated diseases, cervical cancer, head and neck cancer, is extremely prevalent in countries like India, China, Central, and South America. I have to ask you one quick question. Sure. You've already told me in terms of what your company does, a little bit of the history and the progress you're making towards the future. However, what are your future expectations in the long term for the company? So I'd like to see Advaxis become the immunotherapy company located in New Jersey. Okay? I want to see the company grow. I want to see Advaxis HPV be our first stop. I want, then I want to take our technology, our platform, and look at it in prostate cancer and in other cancer indications. That's the goal for the company. Mr. O'Connor, thank you very much for your time. Great. Thank you, James. Appreciate it.